Awesome. Thanks. Hey, Pat, uh, go to the next slide, please. All right, so um, we'll start with kind of QSecure's vision of what modern cryptography is going to look like. Um, and you can see here a few concepts illustrated on this slide. Uh, entropy, one key versus multiple keys, PQC, and crypto agility. So uh, QSecure really views um, the future of modern crypto as the ability to um, basically have an abstraction layer uh, and full visibility and control over all of these elements delivered via a zero trust architecture. So starting over on the left uh, with entropy, we believe that high quality entropy uh, derived from whatever source that you deem um, most relevant to you, right? This can be a QRNG or other uh, hardware-based random number generator, uh, sufficiently random pseudo-random numbers or whatever you would like, right? To generate those high quality keys. And being able to kind of choose your source and integrate that into your cryptography is something that we think is fundamental to the future. So too is the ability to use multiple keys uh, versus a single key in your uh, transmissions, right? So if you're wanting to have um, a known lifetime of a key instead of letting it uh, proliferate forever and you're able to actually then dynamically update them at whatever interval that you set either by policy or by configuration, of course, uh, you know here at QSecure, we are we are focused on delivering PQC, um, but that's actually just one element of a larger push towards crypto agility. So we know that uh, all of cybersecurity is a basically dance between threat and remediation, where you have uh, you know we've gone from DES to triple DES. Uh, and ECDH and so on. So we don't think that PQC is an end in itself, rather that this is just another uh, kind of transitory upgrade that we're going to have to do. And we should make this a modular function uh, as we go forward such that when it's time to upgrade again, we're able to do this easily. Finally, all of this is overlaid on a zero trust architecture, uh, allowing you to get auditability and visibility into your endpoints to say, I know for sure that uh, service A or server A is using this type of cryptography with this key length, et cetera. So again, all of this is just basically being able to go in and have great visibility and control over your cryptographic environment. Uh, next slide, please. So what is uh, the product today and, and how can QSecure kind of help to, to upgrade your enterprise to all of these great things that we've shown you in the previous slide, all of those core tenants. We actually have uh, two products that are being shown here. One on the left is Q Everywhere, um, and on the right is Q Network. You're going to hear a little bit more about Q Everywhere uh, in Craig's portion of the talk, um, and also in Rebecca's uh, video demo that we're going to show you in just a second. Q Everywhere is the ability for us to provide um, from your web server with basically a, a two-hour install, instantaneous upgrade to PQC, and uh, again, a whole lot of visibility into that channel. Q Network is a similar protection, but this is for server-to-server -server applications. So um, you can think about these as complementary, uh, Q Everywhere being uh, outside of perimeter or outside of firewall in old parlance, and Q Network is within perimeter. And all of this is facilitated by Quark and our quantum secure layer. That is um, basically our, our IP that allows you to, again, gain all of that visibility into both of those services, provide keys, manage them, and policies that are associated. Uh, so next slide, please. So uh, here is a notional diagram of what uh, our vision for the, the future of cryptography looks like in a hybrid cloud scenario. So up in the upper right, you can see the Q client um, devices. These are phones, laptops, and other end user devices. Again, considered out of perimeter, they're being served uh, by Q everywhere. In the, uh, in the cloud, as well as in the uh, data center below, you can see that our Q proxy has been inserted um, in between uh, all of the middleware that allows um, these devices ultimately to receive uh, their information, but so too the services contained on each of these servers to interact with one, one another in a post-quantum way. All of these proxies are registered to the quark and fed keys and entropy by our quark, ensuring that you have, again, uh, control and visibility over those proxies. 
and you're able to um, set by policy whatever you want to configure. So this is, again, uh, different entropy sources, key links, rotation, as well as the ability to affect the cryptography that's being done at these endpoints. So if you choose to use a different, for example, NIST round four finalist instead of Crystal Skyber, uh, you can switch to Byke or MacRelease or another code-based algorithm. Uh, so again, this is full control over your environment today. Thank you.